This is a digital music trends coverage of Medem 2014, an interview with Antti Silventoinen from Music Kickup and Rami Kohonen from Music Kickup as well. DMT's coverage is brought to you by CI, the leading provider of digital delivery services to the independent community on ci-info.com. So hi guys, it's a real pleasure to have you here. How's it going? Definitely. It's going great. I mean, it's it's fantastic. Excellent. It's been one of those times when you just energize for four days, you move it up, you ramp it up, you talk to people. Yeah. Awesome stuff. And you had an ex excellent experience here, so how, how was your meet-em? It's been great. I mean, meeting people, doing the business, I think that's kind of secondary. I think we've been waving the artist flag over here. Yeah. We've been kind of showing what new innovation can do, what artists need to be in the center of the industry, how we can help them, how we can help bridge these new um, pieces of the industry into new forms, and that's kind of what we've been doing here. I mean, it's not only mid dem it's basically being the disruption inside of mid -M. Yeah. So I, wa I want the elevator pitch. I want, I want people to know what Music Kickup is if they haven't heard of the company before. What do you guys do? Music Kickup uh, is an artist development platform where we offer tools for um, career building, distribution, and funding. Right. And, uh, and so, uh, how, how did the project start? And uh, it, it's, you know, it's been incubated for a couple of years. You know, you've been working on it really hard at it for a couple of years. So, uh, how did it start and, and when did you decide this was going to happen? Um, it, it started back in 2008. So, this is like a you know, long process. We actually did three years of legal study first to make sure that these things are actually even capable awesome. on top of that making sure that technology we knew that you know we're not there with tech yet to do 100 percent free digital distribution which was like one of the core things we wanted to do so we knew that it's going to take about five to six years for the tech to build up we knew that after the legal issues were done we could actually start building so full on we've been working from 2011. yeah so talk me through the process of what happens when an artist signs up. What, what, you know, what is the process? <clears throat> yeah, so uh, the current service we have alive is the Music Kick Up distribution, yeah. which is kind of like the, the basic of everything we do. And um, every artist in the world can go to uh, musickickup.com right, right now and sign up by just inserting their artist name to a field. And then uh, we analyze, does this artist exist? And uh, a typical way to authenticate is through Facebook. So if the person who puts the artist name is also the Facebook page manager of that artist, then he, can, he or she can move forward. And then you can start publishing music in iTunes, Spotify, Deezer, and Google Play. Uh, you just uh, upload your assets, uh, uh, music and uh, uh, artwork from Dropbox, yeah. and we send it to the stores. And you keep all the royalties, you keep, uh, it doesn't cost you anything, and you keep all the rights. And yesterday when Antti was doing uh, his uh, press conference, we actually had our... Hey, uh, this is a world record. By the way, we're gonna we're gonna send it to Guinness Book of World Records because that is a world record. Um, yeah, so we had an amazing artist from Finland called Anni Mattila, yeah. a singer songwriter, uh, doing her new song on a piano, and uh, we had a MacBook with the Garage Band, and we just recorded it. And while Antti was doing his speech, uh, we actually published it, in, and it was in iTunes in like around ten minutes after the song was performed. Yeah, and uh, it was and pretty cool. <laughs> crazed about it. I mean, thinking thinking that they, they like the music, you know, they're like, oh, this is beautiful music. And they think that it's for a press conference ambiance. But what happens, of course, after it is that when I started demoing, like, I want to show you how you release music through Music Kickup, and I want to show a demo and to actually state to them that actually I'm not going to use a pre-recorded demo, but I'm going to do what she played here. And everyone was going like, that can't be true, you know what I mean? And then I didn't talk about it going live. I said that there's going to be something cool in a couple of minutes, pressing release. They were just amazed by how short it takes. It, it's a it's one minute process for you to actually do that. So it's super fast. And then, you know, seeing the guys nod their heads uh, in the audience, I knew that that's going to be the point and the cue for me to say like, okay, I'll stop my keynote, yeah. move away, and boom, it was live on iTunes. And that, that was the world's first time anyone's ever released a live song performed in minutes and had it on sold. That was the first time in ever. So let's geek out and uh, uh, talk about how that works on the back end because uh, uh, doing that requires a lot of like metadata needs to be compiled, it needs to be correct, uh, there's uh, issues around publishing, there's, there's a lot of different issues uh, in this area. So how did you go about solving those problems? So like the three core components when you design a business uh, in modern days is of course technology, then you have the business concepts, and then you have teams. Yeah. And 
technology usually is either proprietary or then you start um, using open source components. Open source components um, are beautiful basis what to build upon, but usually they require that you do standard issues. So you do standard processes that are already pre-thought and with that tools that you can actually um, create decent software, but we actually built proprietary technology a very, very, we, so for two years we built this tech. Yeah. And it's the world's most advanced tech wow. that is there. Um, we licensed this technology as well to other companies. We're going to open a, a free API and then a corporate licensing API and of course then a business API is somewhere in the future. They're currently beyond that, they're undisclosed. Yeah. But that technology actually can do some that, what you said, that background tasking, how to build the metadata, how to actually convert the audio file into multiple formats. Yeah. Every single store has a different way of taking that content within them. Yeah. So, but for that to happen instantly requires our system to be completely organic. So it ban the bandwidth we have within the system grows when it gets in. The nodes get created and they get killed away from the process and it's organically doing that. Um, within the system. Yeah. And so you talked about the core product. Uh, uh, so is there a, a line of products you have in mind uh, to, to build a company? Yes, yeah, so, so uh, Music Kick Up Distribution is the service we are currently live at, at uh, musickickup.com. And uh, in March, we're going to release what Antti was talking Absolutely. about, the carrier path. And so looking at the full set of tools that we have for musicians, artist development, resources, free distribution, and funding. These four pieces are the entire holistic take on industry. There's not nothing going on. Visibility is there, how you do funding. So career path is the basics then for our artist development. Yeah. It's the new way for artists to build their careers. On top of this world-class technology that we have that analyzes over 51 markets, over 1.2 billion objects, and we have over 300 personal modifiers for each band, we will constantly know where they are, if they release a single, if they re, uh, have Facebook-like growth, if they have virality. And the thing is that this isn't some kind of AI tech. This is industry professionals building a career path where they state that you have to trigger these and these modifiers yeah. in order to get forward. So this is the first time that someone actually took the fragmented music industry, partnered with the companies, told them that let's start working on this way of how artists can actually utilize the beautiful tools that we have online, how they can use the a and our companies, how they can use labels, how they can use marketing, and put them in a cohesive product where every number is qualified and quantified. And that is the platform of Career Path. And on top of that, we announced yesterday Music Kickup Foundation, which is the world's first global nonprofit artist fund. That's awesome. And so that's going to work with the distribution, and it's going to build a component together. So we're throwing the distribution, we're throwing the funding back to the artist community telling that this this piece is yours you know such an important piece of the industry returning it to the hands of the artist and that's what I said in the beginning we've been waving that artist flag over here going like this is the critical part of the industry these these are the people that create the value everyone else after that chain is adding weight yeah. that devalues so someone needs to kind of lift it up say that this is how we build it, this is how we make it work, and then build value to, through other chains, which is career path, of course, for us. That's great. Well, guys, uh, it's just the beginning of the journey for uh, Music Kickup. So uh, once again, go and check out musickickup.com. Uh, and there's some branding here for the video viewers as well. And uh, <laughs> you know, I really look forward to seeing what's going to happen with you, with you guys in the next uh, 6, uh, 8, uh, 12 months. And, and uh, uh, keep in touch with the show. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure being here and talking to you. Thank you, Rami. Thanks, thanks, Andrea. Always a pleasure.